Hey, what's up everybody? This is Erskine the Prophet and I'm back today to make another video. This video is going to be called Our Society is Built on Fairy Tales. Um, I'm going to tell you, this video might go over a lot of people's heads. You know, I say this in a lot of my videos, but I really mean it. My video is probably on made for everybody. You really got to have... <laughs> Like a sight beyond sight of understanding beyond understanding to really relate to my videos and um, how I make them. So the reason why I'm saying our society is built on fairy tales is first off, I'm going to start with religion. You know, our society is pretty much based on Judeo-Christian values. And let me say this. I'm not the Antichrist or I'm not evil. I don't have any animosity towards religion. I just don't believe in religion. I know the history of religion. I know where it comes from. You know what I'm saying? And I just don't believe in the concepts of God mm -hmm. or the devil <laughs> or angels or demons in the way that religion teaches them. Now, I'm not going to say that there might not be a creator of uh of us at some point now I'm going to say this I definitely don't believe in the stories in the Bible in the Quran in the Torah about where we come from I, I don't believe that I, I don't believe we were created 7,000 years ago it's just too much evidence to say otherwise um, I just read a story today talking about how they think uh, Homo erectus invented the spear hit, invented the spear point as opposed to humans 800,000 years ago 800,000 years ago. So that kind of shuts that down right there. And I mean, you know what I'm saying? If I even go to the history of religion, now for like y'all Christians, y'all Muslims, and y'all Jews, okay, right off the bat, Christianity and Islam is nothing more than an extension of Judaism. You know, they all believe in the same prophets. Oddly enough, they don't believe in the God of those prophets. You know, but basically, um, they're pretty much the same thing. That The main difference between Islam, Christianity, and Judaism is their belief in Jesus. One believes Jesus is God. One believes Jesus was a prophet. One believes Jesus was a false prophet. I'll let y'all figure that out. But to be honest, prior to, I'm not even going to say Judaism. I'm going to say Semitism. And I'm going to let y'all figure that out, why I'm saying Semitism. But um, if we start off with Semitism, the first monotheistic religion prior to Semitism coming about, the world was pagan. Everybody was pagan, you know, meaning everybody, you know, sacrificed people to these various gods. That's how the world worked. You know, then Semitism, you know, basically <clears throat> the teachings, <clears throat> excuse me, of the people of Shem, Noah's son, uh, Semitism came about and exposed a new religious system. Uh, basically of one God and animal sacrifice. That was the big difference. And I'm going to tell you, the Jews got enslaved a lot. They got conquered a lot, but they were never really treated like the other slaves, <clears throat> probably because of a certain respect for their teachings. And, and if you think about it, most rulers, okay, if it comes down to, okay, I can sacrifice this sheep or sacrifice my firstborn son, you know, most people would probably be prefer to sacrifice the sheep. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, it was just a matter of time before, you know, the, the, the Judeo uh, religion finally, you know, took hold. And uh, but instead of being called Judaism, it became uh, pretty much the Catholic Church. This took place at the Council of Nicaea. I can't remember the exact date, but it was the Emperor Constantine. He put together a council <clears throat> and uh, one of the chief arguments they were going to discuss was whether or not to deify Jesus Christ. So, you know, contrary to what many of you Christians may believe, yeah, it didn't come from the heavens. That came from mankind. Mankind put that council together and decided whether or not Jesus was going to be God. And, you know, as we know, they eventually decided that Jesus was going to be deified. So, you know, that's where the Catholic Church came from. Then hundreds of years later, Martin Luther and several other people led several revolutions. And we ended up with Protestantism and the hundreds of versions of Christianity that we have today. So, if, if you really think about it, the only thing people know about God is what they learn from religion. 
And if you really look at religion, it's just something that was is man made. It's not from God, no matter how you want to look at it. You know, and that, it, it is what it is. You know, I'm I'm not here to say that. Uh, let, let me put it this way. If somebody needs God to get through life, you know, because they have no other means, then by all means, embrace them if that's what it takes to get you to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to say this. I think human beings are beyond that. I don't think we need a man standing behind a microphone to tell us how we should live our lives. If we don't have enough sense and decency to live righteous lives on our own, then you're no better than the animal, to be honest. If you put a line up and you put, even though I don't believe in God, in fact, you know what, I'll say it like this. You put a line up, and you put the vine on this side, you put animal on this side, you put man right in the middle. You know what I'm saying? It's a tipping point that's either going to take us towards that animal, excuse me, or it's going to take us toward the divine. I believe religion is taking us towards the animal. I believe our reliance on some supposed higher power to tell us what we need to do to live our lives is taking us backwards. It's not taking us forward. If it was up to me, I would totally eliminate the concept of God altogether and replace it with mathematics. If everybody embraced mathematics, our society would be so far ahead, you know, you wouldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, don't even worry about it. Because I think about all the people who try to talk stuff to me about God. <laughs> Guess what, y'all? It's just a matter of time before they're going to take God out of society anyway. Because most of y'all talk that craziness. Y'all vote for the people who don't believe in God. So it's just a matter of time before we end up like a China or a Soviet Union where, you know, most of y'all probably don't know this, but in communist societies, you can't worship God. There is no God. They don't let you worship God. They'll throw your ass in jail for worshiping God. And it looks like, going by what I'm saying, you know, we may be heading in that, in that direction, you know, in the next, you know, decade, possibly. So, in a way, that would be perfect for me anyway, because I don't believe in them anyways. But for a lot of y'all, y'all going to be in trouble, because y'all are so dumb and so stupid. Y'all voting for the people that's going to take God away from y'all. Hey, you know what? It is what it is. But, but the point is, you know, no, nah, I, I don't believe in that stuff. Um, I believe in evolution. Uh, but I also, now, I'm not going to say that there is no creation that could possibly be involved with that evolution. A lot of people don't believe creation and evolution can exist in the same space, but they do. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can have things evolve to a certain point and create after that. Or you could create from the beginning things that have the ability to evolve. You know what I'm saying? So people act like they can't go together, but they absolutely do go together. So it could be somebody or something that created, you know, the very, the, like the simple forms of life. And those simple forms of life eventually evolved into the more complex forms of life. You know what I'm saying? But there is definitely, definitely evidence of evolution. No doubt about it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to ignore that, you know, that's on you. I'm all about intelligence, knowledge, understanding, wisdom, you know, so I got to accept what I can see, what I can touch, what I can feel. I have no faith in anything. The only thing I care about is what you can prove to me. If you can't prove it to me, no need to talk to me about it. I'm good. So basically, God is a fairy tale to me. The devil is a fairy tale to me. To be honest, even and I know the Bible very, very well, just so you all know. And nowhere in the Bible does it even mention the devil doing anything evil, to be honest. So, you know, it, it's just, yeah, it's, it's fairy tales. It's just, it's just fairy tales. It's something designed to explain things that can't be explained. But like I said, um, it, it's just too much, that, too much evidence we're finding that goes against what these holy books say. If you want to use it to be a better person, by all means, do your thing. I personally don't need it to be a better person. But to each their own, you know, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in the devil. Boom. Fairy tales. Fairy tales. Stories. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that one thing I forgot to mention, you know, the first uh, monotheistic religion, uh, Semitism, you know, most of the stories that they taught people, they actually got from the Mesopotamian religions. So if you know anything about Mesopotamia and their way of worshiping and their stories, you realize and then, you know, the biblical story. And this is the thing, people close their mind on religion and don't know nothing else. So they don't, they don't even know that their religion came from somewhere else. You know, 
but you got to know history. History tells you a lot. I'm going to say history and mathematics will tell you damn near everything you need to know if you can figure that out. Okay, the next topic I'm going to go to that's a damn fairy tale that I'm so tired of hearing about is these goddamn aliens. I'm so tired of hearing about goddamn aliens. Okay, where the hell do these aliens freaking come from? You know what I'm saying? Where, where, where do the aliens come from? Are they coming from Saturn? Are they coming from Jupiter? Uranus? Mercury? Neptune? Mars? Where, where are they coming from? The moon? Where are they coming from? The next star is like so many light years from this star. Do y'all even know the distance? You know, if they're coming from another solar system, you know, how are they traveling here? What planet are they coming from and how are they traveling here? How are they getting here? Otherwise, something else y'all might not know is that there's a very poisonous gas in our atmosphere called oxygen. Now, we need this oxygen to survive, but just so, you, just in case you didn't know, oxygen, oxidiz, oxidation actually decomposes and destroys things. So when you see a, a piece of metal that's rusted, the reason it rusted is because of oxygen, oxidation. When you see a body decomposed down to dust, that's because of oxygen or oxidation. So oxygen actually destroys things. I, I, in fact, uh, an interesting point is that the very oxygen that we breathe is probably the reason why our lifespans are so short. Because that same oxygen that we breathe probably it's why our bodies decompose and deteriorate because we're breathing in something that decomposes and deteriorates things. So I'm willing to bet that oxygen will be very poisonous to other life forms in the same way that methane will be poisonous to us. So any, any, li any physical life form coming into this environment is going to have to deal with that oxygen. So, you know, those are just some of the things, some of the reasons why I don't believe that any aliens have come to visit us from another planet. And nobody can even guess what fucking planet they would even come from. So it's stupid, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. I will debate anybody on this. That's how confident I am in what I'm saying to you right now. Now, am I, now something I will say is, there's a very good possibility that there are life forms that existed on this planet other than us. You know what I'm saying? Other than the current human, well we definitely know that there were uh, uh, different uh, models of humans, such as uh, the Nisivans or uh, Homo erectus, and it's like a bunch of other ones right in the Homo family. But at the same time, you got you may have other different uh, varieties of life forms that may not be accounted for that may have existed, but we don't know about them. There also could be life forms that still exist to this day but live in parts of the planet that aren't reachable or accessible to us. You know what I'm saying? If you think about it, man, you got people that's damn near eight feet tall. So at some point, you know, the life had to be bigger than what it is now. There's a good chance that life was bigger, stronger, and smarter than what it is right now. And, you know, some of the credit we give to those people, like the Egyptians and the Incans and the Mayans and all of those people, that we say built these magnificent structures that we have no idea how they did it, Maybe they didn't build them after all. Maybe it was people way before them that built those structures. Maybe they might have added on it, maybe added on to them or took credit for them because it was in their land. But I got a feeling none of those people built those structures. It was probably somebody, you know, a lot or a little different from the people that exist right now. Like I said, you know, another thing to think about is that there could be life forms that we may not be able to recognize, you know, like a virus. Say if you got a planet full of giant viruses. You know, will we be even be able to see that? Will we be able to know that those viruses are there? Now, say if this giant planet of, vi planet of viruses comes in contact with the planet Earth, that shit probably going to tear our asses up. You know what I'm saying? So we even got to be careful, you know, of even, you know, because we don't know what alien life might be out there, we don't know what alien life might be harmful to us. You know, it, you know, it might be aliens that come to this planet that could be radioactive or some shit like that. Now, like I said, I don't believe that we would ever be visited by aliens, to be honest, unless they wanted to come take our water from us. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, I mean, what, what do we have on this planet that they just couldn't go get somewhere else, to be honest? I mean, unless they wanted to take human slaves, but they couldn't even take us because we would die as soon as we, you know, left the atmosphere. So, you know, um, I mean, 
if they wanted diamonds, I mean, this planet, the planets that rain diamonds and shit. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, I read another article, speaking of, about the scientists saying that there's an abundance of gold in the universe and they don't know where it came from. Now, to me, I'm like, yo, how can these experts, how can these so-called experts writing articles not have any idea where all this gold will come from? Geniuses. I'll tell you where it comes from. It comes from the fucking suns, the stars. Think about it. The stars are dense. Gold is dense. Come on. I mean, that's not even hard to figure out. <laughs> it, it has to come from the stars. If you think about it, the planets, if you, I mean, okay. Now, unless you're stuck on this, this, this God shit and you think God created the planets. But if you, if you have any intelligence and you know that the planets came from the stars, okay. The planets came from the stars. So everything that's on the planet had to come from that star. Get, go, so, go, if, so that means if gold is in the planet, the gold came from the star. But like I said, not to even mention, the, the, the reason why is so, the stars make up the, the, the majority of most of the mass and most of these solar systems anyway. So if it's freaking gold everywhere, like I said, it's, it's common sense that, that shit would come from the stars. The gold is real dense material. The stars are real dense material. Come on, come on. We, we, we got to be smarter than this. We, we got to be smart. But anyway, y'all... Um, you know, that, that's my take. And I, that, that's why I feel like we just, our society is built on fairy tales, a bunch of bullshit, a bunch of people are brainwashed and stupid. Man, sometimes I feel like I'm in the matrix. Like, I'm the only one to know what's going on. Like, yo, this is unbelievable. And, I, and I'm, it's like, I'm the crazy one. When I say shit like God don't exist, I'm the crazy one. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's where we at as a society. And that's why we got to turn that shit around. If we really want to go forward, we can't go forward like this, being lied to, and being dumbed down and stupefied. We, we can't get ahead. Like I said, I truly believe we have to embrace mathematics as a society, as a world, to really go forward. Because the only thing that gets you, mathematics is it. Mathematics holds the answer to everything. Everything, there's no question that can't be answered mathematically. Real shit, I'm not lying to you. But anyway, y'all, anybody who could get down with this video, you know what I'm saying, please like the video. Please, please, please like my video. You know, please subscribe to the channel. And um, if you got any questions, anything I said that you might disagree with, hit me up. Say something. I'm, I'm cool. I talk to anybody. You know, I ask any questions. So um, hit me up. And uh, I love y'all. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Peace.